well good morning it's the next day and just after 8 a.m. you can see behind me here the uh, entrance is a lot uh, shallower with the low tide and you can see that reef that goes all the way out to the the green marker uh, my friend Peter he's gonna take me for a tour around the island on his golf cart I'm gonna wait till high tide to leave so well not quite high tide I'll leave around noon and I think high tides around 1 30 and I see some sunshine starting to come on to uh, Northern Dancer so I guess I'll go back and uh, have some breakfast Well, this is Peter building a cabin on De Corsi. and this is the golf cart or death cart? The death cart. It's the death <laughs> cart of De Corsi. I'll keep it under 40k. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and I've known Peter, geez, at least 10 years or more. Yeah, 15 probably. Yeah. yeah anyway, it's been a while now. We met at the first CNC rendezvous that I ever went to. So we have made it to the Brothers 12 farm. <laughs> it's on uh, the east, west side of the island, sort of near the north or central. And uh, pe people might not know, and I'm just learning as I'm traveling around with Peter, is that there was like, uh, well, there was a cult here, which I'd heard about. Um, and it was basically a guy who conned people out of their money. and 6,000 people? So, yeah, between Cedar here and Valdez Island, he had 6,000 people involved in it. Wow, so like 6,000 people involved in this scam, and uh, he had a whole yeah, he following turned, here. Yeah, he turned all the money into gold. And he had a, I think he disappeared with it. But oh, yeah. <laughs> there is tail and it's buried somewhere. There. Oh, okay, so maybe we'll find some gold. So. <laughs> Yeah, he turned all the money that uh, he took, uh, he turned it all into gold, or converted it, and then, yeah, maybe it's buried on the island, so. Did you bring an axe? I dug up my place. Oh, well. <laughs> oh Peter's checked all his property, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a nice score? Yeah. yeah. So, a little retirement bonus? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not sure if the camera will get all blurt or blown out from the sun, but here's the gate. We're just going to go take a look around the farm. And, uh, yeah, I, I saw it was for sale a couple years ago, I think, but it has some structures on it and uh, some open fields, and so they worked it pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, anyways, we'll go look at that now. Edward Wilson, also known as Brother 12, was one of Canada's most notorious cult leaders. 
a mystic figure who dreamed of transforming humanity. He left behind a failed utopia and deep mystery. In 1927, Brother Twelve moved to a settlement in British Columbia to prepare for the new world that would rise from the destruction of the current one. After convincing some wealthy British benefactors to travel with him, he set out on a tour of Canada in order to attract members of what he called the Aquarian Foundation. Using funds from supporters, he bought this land and set about building his community. Though only a few dozen people joined him at the compound, within a year, Brother Twelve had more than 8,000 supporters from across North America sending money for its upkeep. Brother Twelve fled the compound and kept the money from his followers' donations, which he converted to gold coins. A death certificate was issued in the name of Edward Wilson, dated November 7, 1934, but it's wildly believed he faked his death. So we survived the death card of DeCourcy. I'm going to a sign shop. I'm getting you a, a new license plate. <laughs> death card of DeCourcy. <laughs> While I'm back at the boat, that was super fun, getting to see a, a tour of the island on that uh, death cart of De Courcy. <laughs> it was a good way to travel. And yeah, Peter said the island is three kilometers long and half a kilometer wide. Oh yeah, and Peter and Denise's, uh, their property is uh, one and a half acres, I think, and I tried to get a shot of that as we went by. They're just building uh, like sort of phase one of their cabin now. could I tell you about the island? Uh, there are 300 approximately uh, deeded properties on the island and uh, 200 of them have structures of some sort. Not all of them are zoned for full-time occupancy. Some are only uh, zoned for recreational. But uh, yeah, a lot of uh, interesting buildings on the island and a lot of waterfront buildings you know when you've only got a half kilometer wide island and uh, no power you're on your own well and your own septic obviously uh, but they're on a very good aquifer here uh, according to Peter it's different than like Gabriola which has a lot of water challenges um, for wells uh, this one apparently is a lot better. Yeah, that's all I can think to tell you, but definitely come check out Pirate's Cove if you uh, are out cruising in the area.
Well, I've left Pirate's Cove and on my way back to Ladysmith. I think it's about 11 nautical miles to get there. Uh, not a breath of wind, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. And that was super fun. Uh, thanks to Peter and Denise for uh, showing me around the island. But for Peter this morning, taking me around the Corsi and getting to see the Brothers 12 uh, farm. That was super cool. A lot of history there with that, that farm. Pirate's Cove, definitely check it out if you're in the area. Uh, a fun stop. And uh, I don't know what's next on the agenda for me, but uh, I'll try and get out again later this month and take you guys somewhere.